eclipsed innocence, the awakening of a teenage vampire. I never believed in supernatural creatures, especially vampires. I thought they were just a figment of people's imagination, something to scare us at night. But little did I know that my life was about to change forever, and I would become one of those creatures that I thought were just a myth. It all started when I was a teenager, living in a small town that was surrounded by dense forests. It was the perfect place for horror stories to come to life. One night, my friends and I decided to go camping in the woods. We thought it would be an exciting adventure, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. As we set up our tents and started a bonfire, we heard a strange noise coming from the depths of the forest. It sounded like a howl, but not like any animal we knew. We brushed it off as just some wild animal and continued with our night. But as the night went on, the howling grew louder and closer. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the darkness. It was a man, or at least we thought it was a man. He had pale skin, sharp fangs, and piercing red eyes. I could feel my heart racing as he approached us, his eyes fixed on me. My friends were frozen in fear, unable to move or speak. The man introduced himself as Vlad and claimed to be a vampire. I laughed, thinking it was some kind of prank. But as I looked into his eyes, I could feel a strange pull towards him. It was like he had some kind of power over me. He asked me to come with him, promising to show me a world that I never knew existed. Without thinking, I followed him into the dark forest. My friends tried to stop me, but I couldn't resist the pull towards Vlad. As we walked deeper into the forest, I could feel my body changing. My senses became sharper, and I could hear the faintest of sounds. I also felt a burning thirst in my throat that I couldn't quench. We arrived at a secluded cabin in the middle of the woods. Vlad explained that it was his home and where he would teach me everything I needed to know about being a vampire. He told me that I was chosen to be his successor and I would have eternal life as long as I followed his rules. I was terrified and confused but at the same time, I felt like I belonged with him. Vlad showed me the ways of a vampire, how to hunt and feed on humans. He also taught me how to use my powers, like superhuman strength and speed. But the one thing he never told me was that I would have to leave my old life behind, including my family and friends. As the days went by, I felt myself becoming more and more like a vampire. My skin became paler, and I could no longer go out in the sun. But the worst part was the thirst. It was unbearable, and I had to feed on innocent people to satisfy it. I realized too late that I made a grave mistake by following Vlad. I was no longer the person I used to be. I was a monster, a creature of the night. I tried to resist my urges, but the thirst was too strong. I knew I couldn't continue living like this, so I decided to end it all. I returned to my old town and went to my house, hoping to say goodbye to my family. But as I stood outside my house, I could feel that familiar pull towards the woods. I knew Vlad was waiting for me, and as I entered the woods, I knew that I was trapped in this eternal nightmare, a victim of my own curiosity. I was now a vampire, and there was no going back. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, 
make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.